so I might I might do a little bit of uh, off camera um, contracts before next week but next week if I work through May well not necessarily work through May but uh, get May completed um, we'll sell the produce we'll do a little bit more contracting I've got since I'm contracting today I'm not contracting another day I think soybeans are good for sale in June so come June we will have oh, let's let's get back to the field and we'll we'll think about June it's only 10 o'clock so we've got a little while more only $95 in wages nice that was from the follow me field again. Yay. Oh, eeny meeny miny. Yes. Okay, so stuff we are going to need to do. Um, we have soybeans. Soybean fluctuation June. It is May. So next month is soybean selling day. Um, we are 900, 1200, yeah, definitely next month we have to sell soybeans. Um, calendar says you can harvest poplars, grass and oil seeds. So we've got nothing there to do. Um, so yeah. Um, We'll be selling the soybeans in addition to other stuff next month. And then contracting again. So that's, that's the plan for next month. And as I said, probably not going to get there this episode. Um, unless I just decide uh, I'm not going to bother with any more contracts at all. And... We'll just go to June. And then, of course, July is when our harvest starts. That's when the fun begins. Or something. Of course, the nice thing about doing this with our kit is, um, well, okay, if we do it with their kit, once we've actually completed the contract, we don't have to bring it all back to the yard, but uh, anything left over, we don't have to deal with immediately. How are we doing? 13, 14. We'll grab those two away from the hedge. So that'll give me a little bit more space to manoeuvre closer to the uh, hedge. Let's grab that last one. Okay, 16, 17, 18, 18. SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, what am I up to? 18, 19, 20, 
course there's the whole hearing SpongeBob SquarePants every 20 minutes, whatever it is. Anyway, okay, how many more do we have? Is it just one? 73, yes. Okay, so, um, I want to fold that up. That's folded. Jump in the cab and we will go back to the BGA. I don't know how much of this the BGA will accept. Because I think it has a 50,000 litre processing limit. And so, Everything we now drop there is um, works against that limit. We don't own the BGA, so we don't get any benefit from it. Would be nice to, but I think the BGA is a million. And uh, we're a little ways off that. <coughs> and also, I really, really, really don't need a whole ton of digestate because with maize plus our cows are producing a whole ton of natural fertilizer substance and uh, more than we can process so expansion at the moment I think I think what we're producing is good enough um, I may level up the dairy, um, but outside of that, I think buying more fields is still the way to go. And then eventually we'll get to the point where uh, yeah, we, we, we absolutely have to increase our machinery levels to uh, be able to cope with doing what we need to do in the time we have available to do it. Anyway. Oh, crazy drivers. Had a few of those this week. Um, what was it? Last week we had some absolute freaking maniac. I caught him in the rearview mirror. And he's diving from the left lane all the way across to an on-ramp. So he could pass a couple of trucks in the right lane. Um, and he went through the on-ramp onto the shoulder and just passed everything at a good clip doing at least 90 if not more um, and absolutely lucky that nobody was using that on-ramp because that could have been a disaster And then, of course, because we had the ice storm and so much power is out around our city, um, there's a lot of traffic signals that aren't working. And uh, I got to one of those yesterday, and we're all treating it as you should, as a four-way stop. Um, except when I got to the front, okay, uh, the guy to the left went, the guy to the right went, my turn. And the guy to the left just cut straight across the front of me. Um, so I did hit the horn. And he did sort of wave and sort of, yeah, I'm a, an idiot. Um, I should have been treating this as a four-way stop. So, oh, we actually made 20,000. 22,000, including the environmental benefits. That's nice. That's a bonus. And I think... Uh, Okay, let's. We got Trollbug, we have Midas, we have Red Steam. Mm. I'll go with those. Uh, door and window, standard. Or oh, we can. Window only. We can. 
Standard window only. Whoa. Standard. Ah, uh, we'll do that. Work light. Where's the work light? Oh, there's a couple of lights there. And that's pretty much it. A couple of lights on the front. Don't think I need that. Beacon lights. Uh, one on the top. Yeah, we'll do that. Main colour. Whoa. Gonna leave it. New Holland. Yellow. I'm good with that. We'll buy that. Okay. Now I just need to get that delivered. Oh, actually, while we're here, it is also going to need a pallet fork. Okay, so that's all done. We still have more money than cents. Um, no, more money than we started. We we had before we started the contract. So I'm gonna to have to come down here with the low loader, grab that, take it off to the dairy. And I was only saying last week, I really want a small loader. But I'm not, I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy one at full price. They're low use, you know, we turn up once a month, we use it for 10 minutes to load pallets into a truck, and we're done. So it's not like I need a he you know, something that's going to be used for heavy workload. Probably the one on the farm is, is the most likely, because we're using, we're using it to load the the Anderson, we're using it to move the unwrapped bales out so that we can load the bale trailer when we sell our silage. So it, it, it's used for stuff on the farm. <coughs> I mean, we could move, we could put the New Holland on the farm and put the, the JCB at the dairy. But still, yeah, once a month we're going to move 14 pallets, that's it, with it. So it doesn't need to be the newest thing, it doesn't have to be shiny. We just need, to, we'll probably fix it before we take it there, if I remember. I might forget, probably will forget. Forgetting is my thing. I do have a low loader. Anyway, we'll go grab the three unwrapped bales off the field. I'll drop them in the cow shed. And then we will grab the last bale on the field and claim the contract. And I'll probably take that. I'll try taking that bale to the BGA. Um, we might be lucky. It might not be anywhere close to full. Just chop, topping up the cow food is a brilliant plan, I believe. So, I can't believe I missed these last time. Uh, I mean, they were so obvious, but say la vie. At least, uh, yeah, using a baler wrapper, we won't be missing. We won't be forgetting to wrap bales, let's say. Now, of course, the clever thing here is if we wrap them, then we can actually see them clear across the field, which obviously green bales, not so easy to see. I, th I, th 
I'm not sure I'm getting, well, I don't know. The problem is, is because the, the loading arm extends, I'm not entirely certain. I can unload this. Well, we don't have the shed door open here at this end, so uh, I'm going to run down the other end. I sh actually, we should be able to just reverse this in and tip it before the unload arm gets stuck on anything. And if the bales don't fit, whoa! Okay, that's a problem. Well, that's not exactly ideal, but now that it's uh, done that. I think I have got my bail carrier stuck on the shed. Yep, it's gone through the wall. Magic. Oh, there we go. Okay, not so bad. And one bale did get eaten. And there you go. That's... We've topped up a little bit of cow food, which is good. Okay, I need a few minutes break, so, oh, Jew. I'm gonna take this back out to the field and grab the last bale, and then I'm taking a very quick break. And, uh, I'll finish this off when I get back. Okay, contracts. Okay, saving. Okay, contracts. Collect the contract. 28,000, that's a good number. I like that number. And we are rolling down the hill. Oh, we've stopped. Okay, I am going to take a quick break. I will be back in a couple.
Okay, and I'm back. So, we got paid. We need to sell the last bail. And... Grab the low loader and the, uh, the little doodad. Uh... Okay. this way and I'm gonna grab the Massey and get it to follow us with the low loader. As we increase the equipment on the farm, this tractor is getting less useful. It's still going to be good for rolling and mulching. I don't know. Guess we'll figure it all out. Okay, let's get off to the BGA. Us, except hopefully a Massey Ferguson. I can't see anything because of the rear view mirror. Uh, yeah, it looks like the Massey Ferguson didn't make it. Wow. Didn't even get out of the shed. Okay. I'm guessing I skipped out of the tractor before it established the uh, follow me assignment does that sometimes uh, fortunately nobody got here before us okay follow me okay now it's good better So what I can do is, we'll drive into the store, drop off the Massey, and then uh, take the bale across the road. And then we'll do all of it in reverse to get the skid steer loaded. I am leaving the Massey behind because it has a very low top speed. So, what's next? Well, I guess 9.30 game time, we could look for some more contracts. I mean, we're 57,000 after buying the uh, the skid steer. That's, that's why I like the contract on that field. It does pay exceptionally well. I mean, I could even take our silage bales and sell those and pretty much make another 20,000. Although now we've got to wait for the, the BGA to process. All right. Guess that's probably good. Turn that off for a sec. And while I remember. Good grief, take that turn. I 
Alrighty. We have a pallet fork. There we go. Okay, we'll fix that up. 13. Here we will lower. How do you unlock? There is a method. Okay. Uh, dismiss AI work. Oh, we probably need to dismiss the AI worker because I forgot to do that. Then we need to lower is that something yes 19 where on earth is 19 